Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at One Night Ultimate Werewolf. This is by, I'm going to butcher this one, Bazir Games. It's for 3 to 10 players. It takes about 10 minutes to play, ages 8 and up. It retails, as you can see, for about $24.99. Or $24.95. I can't even read the sticker. Uh, now this is a game of discovery. Who is the werewolf? Who is it? So, uh, it's a, supposed to be a really great party game. I've heard great things about it, but let's check the quality. Let's see what this looks like inside. So let's open this up and have a little gander at the contents. That's right. I said gander. All right. All right, plastic. There we go. I win again. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name of this company. Uh, it's B E Z I E R. Bezier, Beerzier, something like that. It's German sounding. Uh, this came out in around 2016. So let's see if we can get the lid off. Alright. Box is pretty nicely constructed. Uh, I don't like the gloss on it, but. I'm picky like that. All right, so here we got our stuff. All right, we've got our little book here. It's the rules. Not much to it. Four pages. It's just general fold out. Then we've got a contents list, which is really cool. And uh, the different character roles. So that's kind of neat. So the two little foldouts, not bad, not bad. Then we've got these, which are uh, your little cards. And they're reasonable thickness, fairly average, uh, nothing too fancy. On the back, they've got a universal look to them. So you had your uh, were two werewolves, the Tanner, Minion, then you've got the seer, three villagers on this one. These aren't numbered or anything, so it makes it a little more difficult. So you want to pay special attention to making sure all of them are here. Then we've got two mason, a robber, a troublemaker. And just like the others, same thing on the back. Then we've got the insomniac, the doppelganger, the drunk, and the hunter. Same thing on the back. This game seems to be much better with larger groups because uh, with only three people it doesn't take real long to figure out who the werewolf is. But then we've got our tokens here and it's one for each character so even the three villagers there's three of those tokens. And on the back uh, they say the same thing but it's kind of faded out. Uh, I'm not entirely clear what that's all about but it probably means they're dead. Uh, you do have to watch the corners a little bit. They do get a little dinged up, even in the shipping. But the perforation seems okay, so I don't think you'll have any problems with that. The quality is pretty average. Uh, I'm not going to say it's terrible, but I'm not going to say it's great. But it'll hold up because it is pretty thick cardstock. Um, I think most people that like to play big party games with large groups will really like this one. Because it's kind of a guessing game. But uh, overall, um, the contents are fairly average. It, it's probably slightly overpriced, depending on how much play you get out of it. If you're only going to play it once or twice, probably not worth the money for you. But if you're going to play it, like you do a lot of parties or party games, college students would really, I think, enjoy this one. And um, anytime you get a big group together, I think this would be a good game to play. Kind of a get to know your beer and pretzels sort of thing so yeah that's the contents they look fine uh, i think it's slightly overpriced so if you can find it for under 20 bucks i think you'll be okay 25 is a bit steep though otherwise supposed to be a really fun game looks really cool but that'll do it for this episode as always thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel and we hope to see you on the next episode of what's inside